Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you step by step how you can create a blog area within your Divi website. Let me show you what we will cover in this tutorial. I will show you how to write a converting blog post, how to import some sample blog posts, change the layout of the blog page, how to create a blog post template so all your blog posts are shown in a certain way, how to adjust the fonts and sizes of your blog post and how to assign different sidebars with sidebar widgets to specific blog categories in your website. I will also show you how to import pre-made blog templates like these. This tutorial is an extension on a Divi tutorial. If you want to learn from scratch how to use the Divi theme builder, then you can go to ferdicorp.com. Go to tutorials, Divi. There you can learn step by step how to make use of the Divi theme. And if you scroll down, you can learn even more about Divi on how to create a blog page, a portfolio, create a header or a footer using the Divi theme, work with scroll effects, do split testing, make your Divi website responsive, and how to work with Divi AI. And if you don't have the Divi theme yet and you want to start using it, you can go to ferdicorp.com forward slash Divi, hit enter, and then you can start using Divi risk-free. And if you like what you're about to see, then please like this video and subscribe for more upcoming WordPress related tutorials. Now let's get started. In order to create our blog page, our blog layout, we go to the blog page and we see there are no results yet. I have tutorials. If you go to ferdicorp.com, tutorials, Divi, and you scroll down below this code, there is a tutorial below the blog tutorial, how to write a converting blog post. There shows you step-by-step how to sign up for Google Analytics, Google Search Console, do market research, write a blog post, add images, and optimize it for the search results. But you can also follow along by going to ferdicorp.com forward slash AM stuff. Hit enter. You will download something. I'll unpack it, bring it to the desktop. Okay, I'm going to import a few blog posts. So you can follow along, see how it looks. So in order to do that, I go to the back end to tools, import WordPress, install now. Then I can click on run the importer. I choose a file. I go to that file that I just downloaded AM stuff. I go for the five dummy blog posts. And you know what? Before I do that, I go to media, to AM stuff. I go for the five blog posts, JPEGs, drag them over here and see if they can link. If I import the blog posts, that will be cool. Okay. Now I go to tools again, import, run the WordPress importer, choose a file and we're back. At AM stuff, five dummy blog posts. I upload the file and import them. I don't select this. I click on submit. And now, if I go to the posts, I have five blog posts with categories and tags. And let's see if the featured image is uh, linked. It's not. So, what I prefer to do. Hold command or control, click on one, two, three, four, five. Wait, five, okay, four. Then over here, featured image. One, command, control tab. Two, three. Four, five. Update, 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 and update. That's how I roll. I like to, to do things like that. Speed up the workflow. That's how I call it. Call it. And now if I go to my blog page, it looks like this. And we can make it look better. And we will. So now you have, you have at least something that we can work with. So I enable the visual builder. And I want to create a page from scratch. So I click over here. I want to go for a regular area. 
one row and in that I want to have text. Okay, the text I want it to be, I click over here, I want it to be the title like that. And I go to text, I bring it to the center. I want to make it light because I want to use a dark background. Then I go to the section, background, gradient. So now I can see the text again. First color is this one. The second one is this one. I change the gradient direction to 90 degrees. And now I click over here. Go to the settings, design, text. I want to make it bigger. And I want to go to the section, design, divider, button, color white. Make it less high. Okay, I click on the plus and I want to add a few blog posts in one row. So I search for blog. I go to design layout and change it to a grid. As you see, I changed the, the titles of the blog post. Okay, let's configure this. I can also hover over here. So for instance, if I want to change something about the image, I click over here. And I can do something with rounded corners, for instance. So I can say 10 and 10 over here or 50. I prefer not. So I say zero and zero, but it's possible. Then I can go to the title. I can make it uh, upper cases, but I like to work with uh, lower cases. So um, I leave it as this, but I want it to be yeah, like that. Then I go to the third area and I want to make it less black, yeah, grayish. And then there's the extra text. Well, I can adjust it if I want to, but what I prefer, let's go to the content. Since I put this uh, to a grid, let's go to these settings. So the content. Post for the current page, I leave it as this. What do I want to display? Post, I can also display projects like that. I prefer posts. I like to have a maximum of 12 posts per page and I can select which categories I want to show. Well, I want to show them all, so I leave everything unchecked. Here for the date, I can decide how I want to display the date. So month, day, year. So I can also say J, M, Y. And then it says it in this way. I leave it as this, but I prefer not to use um, yeah, anything with a date. There's a guy, Adam and Froy. I was uh, checking out his website today to see how he uh, displays blog posts. So that's what I also do. I take a look at other people, how they do it. He's, he's really successful with blogging. So he has this, but I prefer not to have it. But you see, he only has um, categories and the title and the image. So for me, it's also enough. So I don't want to show the excerpt. I also don't want to show the whole content. It's weird. If I do that, look at this. Bam. No, thank you. So I scroll down, I go to elements, and then I want to show the featured image. I don't want to show the author because all uh, blog posts are mine. I don't want to show the date. I do want to show the categories. I do not want to show the excerpt or pagination. I want to show pagination or I turn it off and I say over here 100. So link, no thank you, no background. If I do that. can do it, but I prefer not to do it. Uh, now I can go back to the meta text and then I can give it a color. Okay. 
So that's how it looks. Then I go to the row settings, bring everything a bit closer by going to design, sizing, custom gutter width, and then decrease it to two. Okay, I go back to the module. I want to add a nice shadow. So I go to design. I want to go to box shadow and have something not like this, but something gentle like that. Okay, I save it. And then below, I, I use it in my big tutorial. If you want to learn how to create this whole website from scratch, go to 30corp.com to tutorials, Divi. And then you can find, watch this tutorial. And you will learn how to create this website from scratch. Okay. So one more thing over here, click on the plus. I want to add something from the library and that is the contact area. So on every page, I want to have an area where people can get in touch with me. There it is. So how does it look on uh, different devices? Great. So there's a small change because of the title, but I can see if it works. I'm not sure. Design, sizing, equalize column heights. But that doesn't work. I can go to mobile. Perfect. So make sure you have good uh, titles. So that when people go to your blog page all at once, they see the power of split testing, best tools to create thumbnails. And I'll always use the same aspect ratio for every image. So not all the images are in a different size. I exit the visual builder. Great. So let's go to one of the blog posts, this one. There's a sidebar over here. We can talk about it later. Right now it looks like this. People can leave a comment. So let's create a blog post layout from scratch using the theme builder. So I go to the back end to Divi theme builder and then I click on add a new template. I want to build a new template and I want to assign it to the all post. Create a template. There it is. I want to add a, add a custom body from scratch. And the first thing I want to do, I want to create a background here. So I go to the gradient green, second color dark. I want to change the gradient direction to 90. Okay, then I click on the plus. I want to have one row with a post title. Look at this. At once I can showcase a few things. I go to design, text, make it light. Then I go back to content, elements, and I want to get rid of the featured image. Okay. Now I can go back if I want to. to the background of the section and go to image and then click over here. I want to use the featured image of that blog post. Now this is displayed in front of the background gradient. So I can go to the background gradient, scroll down and say, place the gradient above the background image. Now I can go to one of the colors and decrease the transparency. So you can see the featured image of that blog post through it. Okay. Back here. I like it. I can make it bolder. Change the color. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Mm. I want to make this uh, a bit smaller. I'm actually okay with it. So if I save this, Command S, Control S, and I close this, and I save it again over here. 
Now, if we go to the same blog post, look at this. We only see this error. The power of split testing by Ferdy Korpsuk. And if I go to a different blog post, you see a different background image. Nice. So let me go to the custom body again. I want to add a new section. Regular with two columns, big one and a small one. And in the first one, I want to place content, post content. And by default, it is displayed like this. Okay, then I go to the section area, background. I make it black for now. And I see this area is white. Now I go to the column settings. And the first column, I want it to be orange or actually white. I want to do orange to see which area is affected. So let's do orange for now because I want to show you something. I have a, an element over here or a module. If I want to add another one, for instance, a call to action is orange. Okay. I go to the background, do the same thing again and again. I can also Oh no, it's uh, not anymore. I want to copy and paste uh, the background, but I changed the background. So I go to this one. I can have a call to action. I think, you know, I prefer to do something else. But what I see now is that this area is orange because the whole background of the column is orange. And since I know that I can bring it back to white. So I know that this part, everything will be white. I don't need this, but I want to have something else. Actually, I want to have people's emails. So I go for an email opt-in and then I go to background. If I want to, I can go to design, spacing, say 20, 20, and also here, 20, 20, nice, and then actually or here, or no, sorry, here, I want to have 40. Wow. That came out of my mouth and I know what it means. Okay. Sometimes things like these happen. Okay. So far, so good. Of course, I don't want this to be so dark, but I want to show you the, the difference. I can also make it black and then grayish. Over here, I want to have a sidebar. Uh, select the main sidebar and also here for the right column, I want to have a background, which is white. Okay. Then I go over here to this column. It's hard to select it. So I go to the section row column, second column, I go to advanced scroll effects. Stick to the top and the bottom stick limit is in the row. So now the whole sidebar sticks with us. I like that. So now if I refresh the page, look at this. I see the blog post. It looks like that. So there is a lot to do. Let me go to the recent blog post. There's a lot to do. First, I go to the settings of the first column. I have no idea where this come from, comes from. Because here it looks good. So um, let's say uh, 20, 20, 20 and 20. Let's see what that does. Command S. Refresh. Okay, better, better. Let's make it 40. 
I want to make the, the whole reading experience great. 40, 40, wait a minute, 40, and the other one also 40. Yes. No, I don't like it because here things are going on. So I'm sometimes still making mistakes. I go to the module, the content module, spacing, and there I say 40. And 40, let's see what it does. This doesn't look really good. And this looks better. So we have the blog post. Below the blog post, we have a, we can have a call to action. But then, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I did not finish this one, but uh, we need to link it with an email account. I use ConvertKit and then we need to link that. If you want to know how to do that, I have to talk about it. You can find it on YouTube. If you search for Bloom, plugin, create your email list, 40 minutes, and there I show you how you can um, configure everything. Okay. So. If I take a look at my blog post, there's quite some space over here. I can decrease that by going to the whole row spacing. If I say zero over here, zero, zero, and zero, what is happening? Yeah, it's better. So below this area, I want people to be able to write a comment. So I create a new section, one area, and I go for comment. Then I can make the background light again. Sorry, um, white. Design. Okay, let's wait with design. First go over here. I make this blue. Now there's no edge over here. So I go to the column or to the, to the module again. Spacing 20, 20, 20, and 20, or even better, 40 and 40. When people do that, that comment will be displayed over here. So, how are we doing? Power split testing. It's a long blog post and then here you see the amount of comments. So if I would leave a comment, this is amazing. I'm logged in, so I already can submit my comment and it will be displayed immediately. There it is. And then I can reply. Thank you. Submit. And it's nested like that. So I can do page up and then I see two comments. Okay. How can we change the, the text over here? Well, awesome that you asked that. We can go over here and change that. So over here, post heading one, I can change how it looks. I can make it bold, make it bigger, etc. I want everything to be 26. So this one, This one, I actually don't use those ever, H4, H5, just in case, 
H6. I can also do it over here. Okay, and the text, I want it to be bigger. So I click over here. Then I make it bigger and I increase the line height. I like to have a lot of space. Great. Now, if I refresh this, okay, it looks better. I think we can even increase the line height. Two, two. Okay, and what I see now is that the there's space between the title, the title, the heading, and the um, text. I want to do that different. So I say right mouse click, inspect using Google Chrome. And then I go for a WP block heading. Copy it. Then I go to the theme customizer. Scroll down to additional CSS and below I paste it. Command left or control left with a point opening parentheses. And then I want to say padding. If I say zero, see it changes. So we know we're at the right area four times zero. So what you do now, the padding is top right under left troll. So at the top, I want to have more space over here so I can say 20. So there's more space over here. Then bottom, I can say 10 or also 20. And you see, if I do that, there will be much more space in between. So actually I only want it to be five. So I like this space that gives, gives it some freedom. But maybe there are also other block headings. So what I want to do now, I want to say point block post CSS space. So only for all the areas with the, the, the class uh, block post CSS, it will be adjusted. So now I need to go back to the theme builder, to this module, to advanced CSS and classes and paste that class. So now everything should be fine only for our blog posts. It will look like this. And that's how I'm actually really happy with the results, how it looks. And then below we have comments. We can add something else over here or over here or we can add later or uh, adjust it later. So I can say, uh, let's just scroll and see what, what it's appearing. We can have post navigation. That's what I want. So we can go to the last or to the next post. So I save that. I refresh the page. Okay. This is uh weird but as i said i could and also over here design spacing i say 40 40 40 and 40. let's see what's happening here better and then people can leave a comment over here so what is left the right sidebar you can do a lot of things over here let me close this it's already saved i can go to appearance widgets then there's the sidebar and this is using the the gutenberg the the, the wordpress page builder so i can add a block browse all now what you can do you can add google adsense for instance code that's really nice uh, what you can also do is use an image with a link so I can upload an image, 
for instance, start with tube body, link it to your affiliate link. And make sure it opens in a new tab. Update. And now it will appear over here at the sidebar. If you scroll down, it sticks with us. So that's great. Let's add another one. Another image. Because people should also be able to choose something else. So they can also choose 30 with a link hashtag update refresh okay it does look weird so what I can do I can go to the Divi theme builder to the custom body of the blog post okay then I can Click over here, sidebar, then I go to design, layout, show the border separator, no thank you, and now it's in the center, and um, then I go to the rows, the second rows, I can do two things, or I can say no background, and then you see space in between, which is something that I like. I can go back now, go to design, sizing, use custom gutter, decrease it to something like that. And the other thing I can do um, is make it white again. So white and then design, or let's make it orange for now. So you can see what is happening. Then go to spacing. And then do something like that. That's also what you can do. And then, of course, at content, make this um, white. Well, I prefer not to do that. And then a design spacing. I don't need to have this. Okay. It sticks with us. Let's see how that is working out. Okay, it sticks on the top. I want some spacing there. So I go to advanced, scroll effects. Wait a minute. I think it should be the whole um, column. There I go. And I can have an offset of 20 pixels. Refresh. And then there's a space over here until the end of the row. All I know, I will go till the end of the row. So right now there's a, a two body, a, there's a two body blog post. So what I can do, I can go Closes. I can do, go to appearance widgets. I can create a new one calling this tube body blog post. It has been created. That's great. Go to the customizer. Closes. Go back to the widgets. Close this. There it is, two body blog post. So now I can do something like this. Link it to my affiliate link. I don't know what my affiliate link is, but uh, in a new tab, update. Then I go to Divi, theme builder. Then I can duplicate this and over here I can say post in specific categories. So let's say um, only the ones with 
optimization. Save. And then this one. Manage template assignment. All posts. Turn it off and then post in specific category. All of them except optimization. Save it. Command S. Then I go to the custom body of the specific optimization category. I click over here and then I say I want to select two body blog post. I only see this one. So what happens now? I save it. If I go to a regular blog post, which is in branding, then I see two of those. But if I go to a blog post with optimization, look at this, I only see two body. So you can as assign things really specific to specific categories or to specific blog posts. And in that way, show an affiliate link for the product you promote over here. And then if you promote another product in another blog post, you can assign another widget area to that. So for every blog post people see over here, they have to write affiliate link with it. And if you use Google AdSense, you can also go to um, the widgets and then click on the plus and go for ads or for HTML. But I think uh, the ads one is doing a great job. Just paste the AdSense code over here and a beautiful advertisement will appear that's based on the interest of your visitor. And in that way, you can make money. So that's what we've done in this tutorial. We've created this blog post overview. And when people go to a specific blog post, we created a template for that. And at the end, I showed you how to assign specific templates to specific pages. So if I go to another blog post, this one, all the same settings are applied. As you see, you see the background image, the featured image in the background. And it is displayed beautifully. And below every blog post, you see this. And when you um, configure this, you can let people sign up for your newsletter. So there are zero blog posts. And if I would open this in an incognito window, scroll down it looks like this hey great post george george at geocities.org website george from bananas.com submit the comment it will not be published at once it's still waiting for moderation. Now I go to my website. I see comments one. I approve it. I can even reply. Thanks, George. Bananas. And now if I go to that blog post, how to be found better. Page down. I have those blog posts over here and over here. I see I have two blog posts. If you want to, you can go to the home page, enable the visual builder, scroll down, create a new area. You know what? Command S, exit the visual builder, block, enable the visual builder. Copy the section, go to the home page, enable the visual builder, scroll down, paste the section, and there you go. I drag this. Let's see, or I drag this one. Okay, rid of this. Um, this is a light area, so I want this to be dark.
dark. So let me see if I can. Click over here, copy background. Paste the background. Make this. Let's see. Light or white. And over here. Show only three blog posts. And then over here, I can drag this down all the way down over here. It's not working yet, so I drag this up. Yes, and then drag it up one more time. Above, yes, so light area, dark area, light area, dark area, and then the separator. So that is how you create blog posts and a blog post overview in Divi. I've shown you in this tutorial how to create something like this from scratch, a nice blog template. You can also find them on the internet and import them. So if I search for free Divi, Google or free give Divi post templates, downloads for free blog templates. Oftentimes you need to um, sign up. I've already signed up, so I need to figure out how to uh, get it, even though I'm already signed up. So this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. So uh, there are a few, even more actually. So if you want to use one of those, click over here. There is it. Get it for free. I can download it for free if I sign up again. So let me sign up again. Download the files. There they go. I open them. It's the JSON file. So now I go to the back end to Divi Theme Builder. New area, build a new template in a specific uh, post. Let me see specific post. How to create a logo. Create a template. I click over here. I want to build a custom body. And then over here, I click on this icon, import, select files. And there it is. JSON file, open. Replace the existing content, this area over here. Import. If that doesn't work, it's sometimes the case. I save this. I close it. I save it. Then I go to the um, Divi library. Import. Import. Choose a file. I try it again. Import. And this is something I really don't like. That is something that sometimes happens. Not fun. Um, now I can open a chat session with them. But um, there you download a JSON file. For instance, over here, I have a few headers. And what I can do now, I can, okay, let me show you a different way. If you figure out how to import them. So if in your case it works, then I go to the theme builder. I go for a custom header. So um, for a logo at a custom header, I can say build it, build a custom header. And I click over here or on the plus. Your saved layouts. There's one, uh, there are a lot of headers. Use this layout. Okay, so this is how it looks. Save it. Same can be done with the, 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 the blog post. If, the, if we were able to import it, I saved also over here. So let's see how to create a logo that will have a different header. I go to the blog page. I go to the power of split testing that has the original. If I go to the create a logo, 
it has a different header. And that's the same thing I can do with the blog post, only in this case, it doesn't work. So that's a shame. But I want to end with something positive. Um, if it works, you can also go for paid ones. So I can search for um, Vivi blog post layout. There are 12 more. Oh, those are more like um, blog page layouts. But you can Google this. There are also a whole website. Um, Let's see, divilife.com. Let's see, Divi layouts. You can also search post template. Um, they can also fix this, I think. Maybe if I refresh it. Okay, <laughs> wow. A lot of things are going great in this tutorial right now, but you can, you can find, uh, yesterday I used uh, layout divi.com. Also this website, I think, uh, look at this. I go over here, the submenu is behind this area. Wow. I think I should make a new tutorial and say to those people, you can watch this tutorial because a lot of things are going wrong over here. Divi layouts. You can search for blog post layout or template. No results. Also here, I cannot even, wow, wow. So I think uh, a lot can be improved over here. Um, I want to end with something positive. Let me show you my face. Maybe consider that as something positive. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for watching it. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. I will show you a few tutorials over here that you can follow. And then I wish you a great day. Good luck with your website. Good luck with your business. And thank you for watching this video. And feel free, of course, to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. Okay. Bye-bye.